Minnesota Fine Vikings fans have been hashtag blessed to have Harrison Harry the Hitman Smith uh, at safety for the Vikings uh, for the better part of a decade plus. A 2012 first round pick. Yeah, yeah, two first round picks that year. One was good. The other one, we, we just forget. Mm. But Harrison has been the aggressor. He's been that man on the back end of the defense. He, he is fantastic in the box. He's a great all-around safety. And for Vikings fans, in our book, he is clearly a Hall of Famer. But what has hampered Harrison is that he hasn't been getting the love from the national media jabroni haircuts. And I think ultimately it will cost him when it comes to uh, you know counting votes for who gets into Canton when Harrison hangs him up in three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Mm. And Harrison Smith uh, was on uh, Vikings Entertainment Network uh, doing an interview with Gabe Henderson in uh, that really, the really awesome golf cart that has like eight seats. It's fantastic, man. Uh, but he, uh, Gabe, asked him about his thoughts on the Hall of Fame, and this is what Harrison Smith said: "I could probably make a case for it." living in the Hall of Fame, but I've always been a guy that just likes to play. If people want to rank me somewhere or put me in this list or whatever, that's cool, and I appreciate that. I, I don't take that stuff for granted, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, I'm still just trying to make plays, so if I make enough plays and people are like, cool, that's cool. If I make enough plays and no one else notices, I don't really care either because I'm still having fun and doing what I know I'm good at. Harrison Smith talking about him getting in the Hall of Fame and getting the love from the fans and the national media jabroni haircuts. And Harrison, 10 years, been, been fantastic for the Vikings. Uh, uh, One-time first-team All-Pro in 2017. He was second-team All-Pro as well uh, and a six-time Pro Bowler. But even though Harrison's had a phenomenal career, I don't know. I simply don't know if it's going to be enough to get him into Canton because uh, if you look at his resume stacked up against three other Hall of Fame safeties, Troy Polamalu, Steve Atwater, and Ed Reed. So Harrison, in 10 years, one-time first-team All-Pro. And, and this is what's going to hurt him because you look at how many times Polamalu, Atwater, and Reed. And well, Atwater just... I think that you can make a good case that if Steve Atwater's in the Hall of Fame, Harrison Smith should be in. Uh, but you look at Paul Amalu, uh, four-time first-team All-Pro, Ed Reed, five-time. Uh, that's obviously going to get them in. Or if you look at Earl Thomas, who, I mean, Earl Thomas was great for a long time, but Earl Thomas also, I believe, got by on name recognition, where Harrison Smith clearly was better than uh, Earl Thomas a couple of those seasons, but Earl was getting first team all pro Harrison either got second team or wasn't even on the team altogether, which is going to hurt him, which is going to hurt him because here's he, he, also a fact too. The, the Jabroni Nash, national media Jabroni writers who vote for AP all pro teams who vote for the all decade team and snubbed Harrison from the 2010s all decade team, which he should have been on. He should have been on, by the way, because, you know, re respect Eric Berry as well. But Harrison Smith, a number of years, outplayed Eric Berry. He outplayed Earl Thomas, except a lot of those guys got by uh, on name recognition. The great players, Hall of Fame, Wither, don't get me wrong, but it, it also cost Harrison Smith. So th those same jabroni riders who kept him off the 2010s All-Decade team, who's only named him to two All-Pro teams, they're the ones who also beep up up a boot vote, vote for the Hall of Fame. So I don't think that he has a chance uh, right now. And... You, know, you could say Super Bowls because Paul Mello, Atwater, and Ed Reed all have uh, Super Bowl rings. But it doesn't really matter for non-quarterbacks, to be honest, with the Hall of Fame. It really is about how they perform in their position, not if their team uh, has won a Super Bowl. But Harrison, you know, 29 picks, 861 career uh, tackles, 16 and a half sacks, 8 forced fumbles, 4 touchdowns. Will it be enough? I, I don't know because Harrison was a pro bowler last year, so I think that he's still playing at a high level. And if he can rip off a, a couple more pro bowl seasons, maybe he'll actually get some respect in terms of all pro voting. Maybe he does have another all pro or two season left in him, even though he is getting longer in the tooth. If he can play, if he can play three, four, five more years, rack up a couple more pro bowls, uh, pad those stats a little bit, maybe the Vikings hoist that drum party one time, even though you know we just said Super Bowls for non quarterbacks. Who really cares? I think that you could make a case, but as of right, meow. Like, if Harrison hung him up today, I don't think he gets in. But like we said, it's because Harrison probably should have been on eight Pro Bowls. He probably should have been uh, – he probably – well, he should have been named to the All-Pro team at least four times, two, uh, two times first team, two times second team. Uh, bottom line, that's what it is. So the fact that he had been screwed out of that, whether it's because he plays for the Vikings or whether it's uh, uh, other guys getting by on name recognition, 
it, it ultimately it's going to hurt him. And every single time th this happened, where he got snubbed for an All Pro, or he got snubbed for a Pro Bowl, or he's an alternate for the Pro Bowl, uh, you know, we would complain about it. And everyone's like, Ah, who really cares? It's whatever. At the end of the day, that all matters because. Hall of Fame voters, they don't remember every single play that Harrison Smith made. They just look at these black and white stats. It's like, oh, uh, he, well, he's only made the Pro Bowl and all, all pro this a number of times, so he can't do this, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, ultimately, uh, I think lack of all pros as well as lack of being on the 2010 uh, all-decade team, I, I think that's going to that's, that's gonna sting. Also, Harrison had a legit, had a legit shot at being 2017 a Defensive Player of the Year, but, you know. You know, is what it is. But uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Harrison Smith obviously should be a Hall of Famer, but I don't know if he gets in because of the national media jabroni haircuts. Man. Uh, anyways, your thoughts on our thoughts. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.